Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your laptop as a display for your console. This video was suggested by AstroFX on one of my other videos, so if you want to suggest a video, just leave a comment and I will try to make the video you want. Also, if you enjoy these videos and they help you out, I would love it if you drop a subscribe or a like, because right now 99.5% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. On the flip side though, views have been steadily going up for about a year now and I really appreciate that, so thank you for that guys. All that stuff aside, let's get started with the video. Okay, so this is the HDMI video capture card. So clearly this is like an off-brand sort of company. I figured something like this would be okay because we don't actually need to like capture gameplay like we're not recording. We're just hoping for something low latency enough that it's decent to play with a console. So this is the capture card right away. Build quality doesn't look too bad, but it does feel pretty cheap. Um, so we'll go ahead and set that to the side. On the inside, we've got some cables. This is a USB to USB cable. And then we have what appears to be the HDMI. Yep, okay. A manual. So, any capture card will work. Um, I'm using this one because it's... It was a decent price. I paid, I think, $30 for this, and um, it doesn't look too crappy. I'm sure it won't actually get 4K Ultra HD, but I'm hoping for 1080p 60. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this stuff out of the way, and let's put the laptop on the table and get this all set up. Okay, so we're gonna take the capture card and we're gonna hook it up to this laptop. Now this laptop is really underpowered, so if it works on here, it should work on a lot of stuff. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to take the USB 3.0 cable that came with the capture card. You're going to plug it in, and then you're going to plug the other end into your computer. We'll just set this off to the side for a second. Now take your HDMI and plug this into the HDMI input on your card. Then take the other end of the HDMI cable and plug this into your console. All right, now when that is plugged in, there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing I want to try is go to the camera app. Be sure to flip the camera so it's facing away from you. And your screen should pop up like this. So I am just going to press F11. Does that make it any more full screen? Nope, that takes a picture. Okay, so that's how you get it to show up on the screen like that. So you can see it shows up. I'm gonna grab a controller and test the latency on this. All right, so we're gonna turn the switch back on. There we go, it's connected back to the computer, so I'm gonna press A. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and pop into a game of Shovel Knight and see how playable it is. Now I'm curious if I turn on my computer's volume, does it get volume from the Switch? Does not seem to be the case. Okay, so I'm gonna test this on some Shovel Knight. You can see if I flick the stick a little, there is definitely a bit of input delay, but we're gonna see if this is playable. I'm also not quite sure what the FPS is like right now. This is probably right. I'm not 100% sure. I think it looks, it's probably 30 FPS, but I think that's what Shovel Knight runs on. It might run at 60, I don't know. Okay, so now this, is not uh, the correct FPS, yeah. So, my first impressions here is that you really have to play um, thinking ahead. Um, it's pretty hard to play a platformer like this when you need to time precise jumps. Now, like I said, I am using the camera app right now and this is definitely not this app's intended purpose. So I'm hoping that when I switch this to OBS or something like that, that's more meant to handle um, a card, um, that it'll be a little easier because right now um, I'm not having the best experience. All right, so next we are going to try this on the PlayStation and see how it works on there. Okay, so the PlayStation is now up and running. So we'll just go ahead and sign in here. Immediately that, maybe I'm crazy, but that immediately felt quicker. 
we'll just go ahead and set the controller here. Okay, so I'm looking around and it does. It definitely has better frame rate on the PlayStation. I don't know what causes that, but it definitely is better. Now that doesn't mean this is super playable. I mean, I can do it, but I can still feel enough lag that I think you'd be much better off using a TV or something to uh, do this rather than a capture card on the laptop. Now I'm hoping, like I said earlier, that when I use OBS, it will uh, make it run a little smoother. And then also uh, maybe using a better computer because this laptop is like so old that it's not actually like practically useful for any gaming other than like Among Us. But as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm going around the city right now and I'm not having too much trouble. Um, let's go over to this uh, crime over here. I'm gonna see, I wanna see if I can actually like fight Yeah, so it's definitely harder, but I think, I think you could do it. Now I'm going to show you how to use it on OBS. I've switched to my PC because I don't have OBS on that laptop, and I figured it'll probably work the same anyway. I'll show you how to actually make this show up on your screen. So what you want to do first is you want to go down to Video Capture Device. Um, name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it Capture Card. Press OK. Um, so immediately that pops up, device type, USB video, resolution, or FPS type, we're going to do custom, we're gonna, we want to match output and the video format, we'll leave that as any, um, let's make sure that yours is set to 1920 by 1080 because that's how you're going to want it, let's zoom it out, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And I'm gonna actually resize my thing because I need to, it doesn't fit my screen properly. That's it. There's that. And then, if you wanna go full screen with this, you can say full screen projector, source, click that, and it'll go full screen. And as you can see, even though my, my screen was really weird with that giant box around it, it looks fine now, now that it's full screen. So we're gonna get the PlayStation back out and make sure that this works. So Spider-Man is up and running now. First impressions, um, the image quality is just a tiny bit better than it was on the camera app, and the latency is a little bit lower. It's only a little bit, but it's definitely noticeable, so I think if you're gonna do this, you should go about using OBS instead of the camera app. I am recording this gameplay, so I'll go ahead and switch to that so you can see what it looks like natively. Whether you're using this just to use your laptop as a display or if you want to record, I think it looks pretty good, especially for the price point. You can definitely find cheaper cards on Amazon though. I just can't attest to their quality, so uh, buy at your own risk. If you did enjoy this video, that's about all I've got for you today. If you found this useful, make sure to tell me in the comments. It helps me and it helps other people who want to know if this actually works. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.